What is the rock cycle? Think of it as nature's recycling program, which involves the three main rock types, namely the igneous rocks, also known as the fire rocks, the sedimentary rocks, known as the layered rocks, and the metamorphic rocks, known as the transformed rocks. Granite and basalt are the common types of igneous rocks. Sandstone and limestone are examples of sedimentary rocks. Marble and slate are examples of metamorphic rocks. The rock cycle is a continuous process that describes how rocks change from one type to another. It explains how rocks are formed, broken down, and transformed through various geological processes driven by the Earth's internal heat, pressure, and surface conditions, where the three main types of rocks such as igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks are altered under extreme situations. Let's create the complete rock cycle using a diagram starting with the formation of igneous rocks. Igneous rocks are formed when molten rock like magma or lava cools down and solidifies. Some molten rocks cool slowly, forming large crystals like granite and gabbro. Some molten rock cools rapidly, forming small crystals and glassy texture like basalt and obsidian. Over time, igneous rocks are broken down by wind, water, and changes in temperature. This process is called weathering. Weathering turns igneous rocks into smaller particles called sediments. These sediments are transported by wind, water, or ice, and eventually settle in layers. As layers build up, the sediments are compacted and cemented together, forming sedimentary rocks like sandstone and limestone. When sedimentary rocks are buried down within the earth due to tectonic movements, they are subjected to high heat and pressure. This causes them to change structure, texture, and mineral composition, transforming sedimentary rocks into metamorphic rocks. For example, limestone, which is a sedimentary rock, turns into a marble that is a metamorphic rock. Another example is shale turning into slates. When metamorphic rocks are exposed to extreme heat and pressure, they can melt into magma. When this magma cools and solidifies, it forms igneous rocks, completing the cycle. Take note that any rock type can melt into magma and become igneous rocks. Any rock type can be weathered or eroded into sediments, forming sedimentary rocks. Any rock type can be subjected to heat and pressure, forming metamorphic rocks, which also means that not only sedimentary rocks can turn into metamorphic, but also igneous rocks as well. Let's take a closer look at each rock type starting with the igneous rocks also known as the fire rocks, formed from cooling magma or lava. These fire rocks can be classified as intrusive or extrusive. Intrusive igneous rocks, also called plutonic rocks, form when magma cools and solidifies beneath the Earth's surface, where magma is insulated and cools slowly over thousands or even millions of years. Due to slow cooling, minerals have time to grow, and large crystals are formed, making the rock appear rough and grainy. Examples of intrusive igneous rocks are granite, diorites, and gabbro. On the other hand, extrusive igneous rocks, also called volcanic rocks, are formed when magma erupts from a volcano or fissures and cools rapidly on the Earth's surface. When magma reaches the surface, it becomes lava. Unlike intrusive rocks, which cool slowly underground, extrusive rocks cool quickly because they are exposed to air and water. 
Hence, lava cools quickly, sometimes within minutes to days. This rapid cooling prevents large crystals from forming, resulting in fine-grained or glassy texture. Examples of extrusive igneous rocks are basalt, obsidian, and pumice. Let's talk about the sedimentary rocks, also known as the layered rocks. These rocks are formed when sediments are accumulated, compacted, and cemented. Sediments are small particles of rock, minerals, and organic material. Rocks on the Earth's surface are broken down by weathering. The broken pieces or sediments are then moved by erosion. The sediments are then carried and deposited in low-lying areas. Over time, layers of sediments build up, with heavier particles settling first and the finer particles settling later. As more layers accumulate, the weights of the upper layers compresses the lower layers. This process squeezes out water and air between the sediments. Minerals dissolved in water like silica, calcites, or iron oxides act as a natural cement, binding and compacted sediments together, thereby forming the sedimentary rocks. This process usually occurs over millions of years and often happens in bodies of water like river, lakes, and oceans. There are different types of sedimentary rocks. We have the clastic, chemical, and organic. Clastic sedimentary rocks are formed from fragments of pre-existing rocks. For example, sandstone is formed from sand, shale is formed from clay, and conglomerate is formed from rounded pebbles. Chemical sedimentary rocks are formed from minerals that crystallize out of water. For example, limestone is formed from dissolved calcium carbonate. Another example is rock salt, which is formed from evaporated seawater. While organic sedimentary rocks are formed from the remains of plants and animals. For example, coal is formed from dead plants and animals, and chalk is formed from microscopic marine organisms. Here are the importance of sedimentary rocks. Number one, they serve as reservoirs for water, oil, and natural gas. They are also used in construction materials. For example, limestone is used in making cement and sandstone for constructing buildings. Sedimentary rocks contain fossils helping scientists study past life and climate. What do you know about metamorphic rocks? Metamorphic rocks form when existing igneous, sedimentary, or even other metamorphic rocks change due to heat, pressure, or chemical processes. This transformation is called metamorphism. High temperatures cause minerals in the rock to recrystallize. The chemical composition remains the same, but the crystal structure changes. Intense pressure from tectonic plate movements causes rocks to become denser and more compact. Layer may become folded or distorted, forming foliated textures. Based on their texture, metamorphic rocks are classified as foliated or non-foliated rocks. Foliated rocks have a layered or banded appearance due to pressure. For example, slate, which is formed from shale, is used for roofing and flooring. Another example is gneist, nice, formed from granite, found in mountain ranges. Schist is formed from various rocks that are highly foliated with visible minerals. Non-foliated rocks have a uniform crystalline texture due to heat or uniform pressure. For example, marble, which is formed from limestone, is used for making sculptures and buildings.